Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Accidental Beauty. If you're new, welcome. My name is Laura. I'm a self-taught makeup enthusiast who really loves lipstick, and that's what I'm gonna be trying out today. I was gifted uh, from a friend the Wayne Goss Luxury Cream Lipstick. This is the box and then this is the actual thing. I got the shade Macadamia, which is, there we go, very neutral. I'm wearing it on my lips today. So I'm gonna be, I guess, um, swatching it on my lips and then just giving my short, quick review on it. So if you guys uh, wanna hear what I have to say about it, if you're thinking about buying it and you're not sure, then please keep on watching. Excuse how I look right now. I guess I can take these out now. I am in the middle actually of filming a tutorial review of the products that I'm using for this makeup look. We're all nicely zoomed in already, so uh, why don't we just begin? Okay, so I got this for free. Um, this was gifted to me by uh, a friend and I'm very excited to try it out. We're doing like a full bougie makeup look today, it feels like, I'm testing out some other high-end products. So very excited to try this out. I've heard very good things about Wayne Goss's makeup brand. Uh, I really love him as a, a YouTuber and an artist. I think he's brilliant. So very excited to try this out. This is the Luxury Cream Lipstick. It's three grams or 0.11 ounces. And this is in the shade Macadamia, which will apparently look like this. So this is, we've got the shade again. This is the component, very bougie, very like hard plastic. This is the lipstick, very neutral, mm, nice vanilla scent. I think it'll go very nicely with this neutral makeup look that I've got on. So let's try it out. Okay, so it's very creamy, so it's kind of sheer. I don't know if it's just because the color is so light. It's like, it's almost like a lip balm. Very comfortable, very smooth, very rich, creamy kind of texture feels amazing on the lips if you made like lip balms with this texture that would be amazing it looks perfectly fine it's fine i'm i'm sorry i'm not i'm not impressed a thing that i really hate about any of this like luxury or luxury looking makeup products is this is a very reflective plasticky i think it's just plastic uh you probably can't really see from here but oh maybe you can my fingerprints are all over this thing already and like all of that you know clean luxury like no one's gonna be polishing their makeup components i guarantee that and like you have this for literally i've been trying this out for three minutes and it's already got my grubby little fingerprints all over it you know it looks nice when you have it on your display but like if you're actually using it it doesn't keep that pristine look it's nice when brands make packaging like that. It, you feel special opening it up. And then when you actually use it like you're supposed to, because you're a consumer, it loses that appeal. Anyways, okay, let me finish off the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back and talk about my thoughts about this product some more. Okay, so I'm back. This is the final look. I haven't wanted to drink anything because uh, even though my throat is very, very dry right now. I honestly was worried about the lipstick fading. So now that I have the rest of my look on, let's just do a test. Okay, so like, just show you it's clean. We had a tiny bit of transfer on my water bottle. Yeah, you can kind of see a little bit over there. And on my lips, okay, not too, too bad. I'm just gonna do like a, a kiss test. Yeah, so it's not, uh, it's not non-transfer. <laughs> like, sure, I guess it stayed on my lips, but it's also pretty close to my natural lip color, maybe a little bit peachier. It's fine. I'm sorry, Wayne. I'm really disappointed. I feel bad because like I really enjoy Wayne Goss's videos. He really knows what he's talking about. He's clearly like such an incredible artist. And this just kind of fell short for me. Yeah, they call this a luxury cream lipstick like, to me, a lipstick is something that stays, maybe there's a little bit of transfer when you eat or drink, but like, I don't want my product to like, look like it's disappearing. Granted, a color like this is gonna fade gradually throughout the day. And because like, I imagine they have a bunch of nude shades, hopefully a nice range to suit a bunch of different skin tones and like lip undertones. I'd be okay if I, you know, went out somewhere, which I never go out anywhere. But if I went out somewhere to eat, let's say, and I was wearing this lipstick and then as I'm eating, you know, it wears as I'm maybe having like slightly oilier food, fine. 
but I don't know how much this costs, but like I imagine it costs quite a bit. And if you're spending that much money on, hold on, hold on. I just need to Google how much this costs. Okay, so this costs, oh, okay, actually not too bad. Oh, and he does have a nice range of colors. So it costs $36 Canadian. I actually expected it to cost a lot more. I guess that's a pretty fair price for this sort of category of brand. Like a luxury brand, I actually would have expected it to cost even more. So $36 is not bad. More than I would spend on basically a glorified lip balm because that's what it feels like. To be completely honest, even though I got this like as a gift, I mean, I'm still gonna say, say my thoughts. Seriously, save your money on this one. It is very, very hydrating feeling. So if you have really dry lips, you'll probably love this. It feels very, very comfortable but it just doesn't feel like it has a whole lot of pigmentation. Now, maybe some of the darker shades might be a bit more pigmented. I don't know, but like I, I expect full coverage with a lipstick. And when it's not like to me, that's kind of like a lip balm, a lip gloss. So if you're calling it a lipstick, I expect opaque color. And I didn't get that. I give this a four out of five just because it is very comfortable. Would I recommend buying this? Absolutely not. I am probably gonna wear this more as a lip balm. Like, you know, like a t t tinted lip balm basically is what I'm gonna be wearing this as. I'm not super impressed, really not. So that's a bit of a bummer. Unfortunately, I was really expecting good things from this brand, but I don't know, someone else might love this. It's just really not my cup of tea. Uh, that's all I have to say about this product. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts if you've tried this product before. I'd also love to hear what you think uh, because just because I don't love the formula doesn't mean that it doesn't work for everyone or that it's not you know something that someone else is looking for. So I'd love to hear your thoughts if you've tried it. If you like the type of looks that I post here on my channel, normally they're a lot more over the top than this look that I have on today. Uh, I usually post sort of extra content uh, on my other social media of the stuff that I post here. So if you like the type of stuff that I normally post here, then I'm sure you'll enjoy the content that I post on my other social media. And I always leave links in the description box below so you can check those out if you're interested. And if you enjoy the content that I post here on my channel and you want to see more, I'd love it if you could subscribe and turn on notifications. And that way you'll get updated every time I post a new video and I'll see you guys next time.